new music Monday episode 13. 13. It's a baker's dozen. Superhero, super villain, superhero, super villain, superhero, super villain. Cliff, please grab that album. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Superhero, super villain, approaching the horizon. Superhero supervillain is Evan Fee, Zach Haygood, Matt McCauley, and Ziggy Leha. The album starts with A Feud Amongst the Mute. You're younger and faster and much more talented. Uh, it's a very heavy hitting political commentary on the current state of the youth in America. Com Cell phones are bad, okay? Yeah. Make sure that you put up your phone, take a look around, because there's more to life than simply looking down. Powerful words from a powerful spokesman. This is a great heavy song. Um, and it always makes me think of a showdown in like DBZ. Like some of the lyrics sound like they're being delivered from Vegeta to Goku. Like right before administering a beatdown. Rebellion song is about Star Wars. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty positive it's about Star Wars. I'm pretty sure. Here, hold on. <laughs> So yeah, we just listened to it and confirmed internally. Um, it, it's definitely about Star Wars. Goddamn Suzanne. God, Suzanne. There's a radio edit version of it at the very end of the album for those of you who don't want the GD version. Goddamn Suzanne. This is a really cute pop punky song. I mean, is it really cute though? Because the the lyrical content is really heavy with like emotional betrayal. You keep sleeping with my friends. And the you know. Oh yeah, it's about like getting cheated on and stuff. Still sounds cute. Oklahoma banana. This song is really really fun. And it gets stuck in my head even when I don't listen to it. Oh, for like yeah. A couple days or a couple weeks or even a couple months. It'll just creep up at me at night. Oklahoma bananas. Again, taking the piss out of the band a little bit. Uh, we love you to death, Zach. We know this song is about you. It is a really fun song. And the context, or not even the context, but really the song is about having a, a word or a totem that kind of pulls everybody back into, into the root. Because we all get distracted sometimes. This is not a DP song, is a song that is not about Deadpool. Allegedly. I'm not gonna sing a Deadpool song. It's one of my favorite songs on the record. It's a lot of fun. It's great to stomp around to. It's a great warm up song if you wanna, like, you know, hit the gym hard. I, I always request this song whenever they're playing live. Whenever, whenever we go see them, whenever we're playing with them, I always request that they play This Is Not a DP song. And White Squall. I have one word for you, Zachary Haygood. Fuck! But in all seriousness, White Squall is a really great piano piece. Uh, again, performed by the drummer, Zachary Haygood. White Squall is so pretty. It gives me Final Fantasy vibes. It definitely sounds influenced by uh, a lot of like Nobuo Uematsu's work. It's beautiful. It's, uh, it's one that Zach did earmark for us to especially like, well, just, you know, check this one out because it really is an outstanding piece on the record. Um, and, which is fun because even though it does sound so different from everything else, it fits into the theme of superhero supervillain, the juxtaposition between major powers, themes, and sounds. So I, I personally enjoyed the fact that they did put this piece on the record. As an aspiring keyboard player myself, someone who really appreciates the instrument and is working on it all the time, I'm really upset at just how good Zach is on this thing. <laughs> Final thoughts. 
This is a good album. It has a lot to offer. It really does. Um, on a uh, on a personal level, it really does touch on a number of genres that I really like. The projection of emotions to lyrics to actual instrumentation, I find really fantastic. I think you guys knocked it out of the park on this one. Um, I really do feel like you're approaching the horizon of major success. And I'm not just saying that because I know you guys, like, I, I really love this album. So on a, uh, on a scale from one track to 100 tracks, I would give it 42 tracks. Uh, yeah, um, the band describes themselves as metal versus pop. And to me, they've really gotten th that dichotomy down on this record. Uh, there's just so much that's incredibly catchy on here, but at the same time, really upfront and really aggressive. Um, it's a really, really fun record. It is. It's a lot of fun. Final score? I already gave it my final score. That's right. My final score, between a superhero and a supervillain, I give it an anti-hero. What is that? What is that sound? That's the new music alarm. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, hello everyone! For Christmas this year, Bathalite is giving away a free special single off of their new record, Presence of Kinsukuroi. Ho ho ho! Hope you enjoy!